YouTube, it's Jam, it's time for another This Is Not A Book first day, so let's get straight into this week's five pages. So I did quite a bit at the front of the book this time because I was just feeling those ones. So, the first one I did is, um, it says this is a nature em emulator, there we go. <laughs> Take a break anywhere you are, add some imagery to the scene. So I just, I love I decided to make this a super cheesy page and I did a little dolphin and a rainbow um, and I'll probably end up making this more colourful because it's still quite bland looking to me so yeah that's what I've got on there so far. This is an annoyance. Do several things. So I went with writing an insult. I want to make it sticky as well. Um, I was going to tap latex on this page, but I couldn't find my latex anywhere. So um, liquid latex. So when I do, I'm probably going to add to this page. But for now, I went with an insult, and I also wanted to make this page just look gross and yucky because. That is annoying to me when something's like ugly. So, um, I went with the insult, you suck, because it's a classic. Um, and then I did some fake blood and stuff like that. Um, these brown smudges are a mud mask, and I did a couple of different fake bloods. And then on the side, I was in the mood to draw, so I added some little gross doodles. Um, there's a little ghosty dude there, and then up here is Rick and Morty, a show that me and my hubby are obsessed with at the moment, um, because Liv Loves Makeup, who's another New Zealand YouTuber, she mentioned it in one of her favourites, I checked it out and now I'm obsessed. It's a completely gross, definitely adults only cartoon, um, but I just love it for some reason, I don't know, I think it probably says a lot about me, but... <laughs> Anyway, that is what this page is looking like right now. As I said, I'm definitely going to add more to this page. Because it's just not right there yet for me.
page that I've added to thanks to you guys um, is the this is a tool so I showed you last time that I had only got up to 13 ideas and asked you guys if you had any ideas and I've added in um, the ideas that you guys came up with you guys are very clever and had way better ones than me and you also have amazing cool names so I'm gonna quickly go through all of the ones that you guys suggested so Skylar suggested toilet paper pillow armrest and leg rest um, Angel suggested frisbee if you can see right here I color coded so um, I did Skylar pink and then all of the pink ones are from Skylar and so on uh, and Missy said tennis racket, ironing board, napkin and bandage so those are all awesome ideas please keep commenting down below if you come up with any more thank you so much for helping me out with this page the next one is another one that I yet again want to add to um, the next one is another one that I haven't quite finished but it says this is a blank space think of nothing how many examples of nothing can you think of draw nothing here so I was like Oh my god, what do I do on this page because nothing is nothing. So I thought of things that have nothing in them. Um, so the first one I did was space. Space is a whole lot of nothing. It obviously has planets and stuff, but you know, space is just a vast nothingness. Um, next is the desert because the desert is, once again, a whole lot of nothing. And lastly on this page, my fridge. My fridge often has nothing in it so those are my ideas or examples of nothing if you have any ideas let me know in the comments down below because I still have plenty of space here for more suggestions okay the next one we're gonna do is this one here it's one of the very first pages in the book it says this is a test of endurance hold this is not a book above your head for as long as possible write your time here so we're gonna do this right now I'm gonna probably speed it up because um, if I hold it on my head for like two minutes it's gonna be really boring to just see me sitting here for two minutes so I'll speed it up but I'll put a stopwatch on my phone so you can see the time Okay, so I've moved down to the ground so that you can see both me and my timer on my phone at the same time. So now I'm going to try and push start on there and do this at the same time. So... So I thought I was going to do way longer at that, but no, I kind of suck. So I got about a minute 40 because I obviously dropped it before I pushed stop on here. But yeah, that's that page done. And the last page for this week is page 5. It says this is a secret agent instructions. Give this is not a book some kind of disguise to help to hide its identity. Dispose of this note after reading. So haven't disposed of the note yet but I'll probably just like cut that square out or something um but I thought long and hard about how to disguise my book I was going to turn it into a character or something but then I thought I might just disguise it as a different book so I have this Dr. Je Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um book cover here I don't know what happened to the inner part but this was just in my craft station and my this is not a book fits pretty perfectly inside it like this so I'm gonna try and think of a way to stick it in there without like permanently um, gluing the front cover maybe try and like um, have some elastic inside that I can slide the covers into or something I don't know I'm gonna think of something but so far um, this is what I've got so yeah um, my book is on disguise is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by L. R. L. Stevenson yeah, I actually think it looks pretty cool in there, and no one will know. So I can just stick this on my bookshelf, and no one will know that it's 
a this is not a book but yeah that is this week's five pages i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for all your ideas that you've been putting in the um comments section and also just for your lovely comments i read all of them um and i do try to reply as much as i can and yeah that is it for this week love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next one bye kittens Thank you.